The actions displayed by General Grant of the North to General Robert E. Lee of the South at Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia began with the process of the unifying and healing the country. By Grant permitting Lee and his men to return home, the healing process of the country was able to begin. Allowing them to, to keep their tools, arms, and horses gave the Southerners the ability to farm their land, hunt for food, and take care of their families. These actions allowed by General Grant helped the country in a political, social, economic, and geographical way that aided the nation to rebuild and reunite. On April 9, 1865, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered to the Union General Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox, Virginia. At this point in time, this was the end of the Civil War and lots was happening. Included Lee surrendering to the Union General Ulysses S. Grant. End of the Civil War, Confederate General Robert E. Lee tried to make a last stand in the war to avoid defeat. General Lee joined with General Joseph E. Johnston and his troops at Richmond, Virginia and the Jan Danville Railroad, where the military could receive supplies. But General Grant was able to disable the railroad so Lee could not get any more supplies. End of the Civil War came when General Grant led his troops into the Appomattox River, where then he was stopped by General Grant. He was trapped with his army, and that is when General Robert E. Lee made his surrender to General Grant of the Union. He surrendered and declared defeat. When the men in the Union heard about the victory, they shot their guns and rejoiced. Lee and Grant both decided to meet and discuss the terms of surrender. The place where the two met was Lee's to decide. Lee chose Appomattox, Virginia, because he was from Virginia and it would be easier for him to get to the spot for the terms of surrender to be discussed. After Lee surrendered to the Union Army, two to three months for all Confederate forces across the country to surrender. Lee surrendered to prevent any further loss of life and to prevent any further damage of the South. Though less men did not want him to surrender, he did it because he thought it was the, it was best for everyone. From the moment he surrendered, it was discussed that there was a sense of friendship among the North and South. Though there was happiness and friendship, many men in Lee's army were bitter and angry at the surrender. Later, these men were relieved when they found out that they would be able to keep their weapons and horses and they would be able to return home. Social impact is displayed here because the men were allowed to keep their weapons. People stood on the courthouse steps awaiting the arrival of General Lee and General Grant. Officers from both sides shook each other's hands and started conversations. It shows a social impact on the two sides because they could be in the same room and not start a fight. At Appomattox Courthouse, General Grant agreed to patrol the Southern Army instead of taking them as prisoners. The General sat down inside and began to discuss the terms of surrender. Union troops saluted their former enemies at the surrender ceremony. As the Confederate soldiers came forward to surrender their guns and tools, General Chamberlain had his troops salute the Southerners as a sign of respect. Witnesses at the courthouse said the interactions between the North and the South troops were friendly and kind. After about 20 minutes of writing his terms of surrender, General Grant had his terms of surrender. The two generals went inside the courthouse to discuss the terms of surrender. Lee gave Grant a pen and a paper to write down his terms of surrender. Lee read the terms of surrender and was very surprised. The terms of surrender included that the soldiers could go back to their homes from the south and also keep their weapons and tools. It also included that they could keep their horses and plow the fields. General Lee was extremely surprised with the terms of surrender. In the majority of most civil wars, usually the victors eliminate the opponent. General Grant explained that he just wanted to heal the country and get everyone back together. Lee accepted the terms of surrender with delight. After the meeting, Grant was the first to leave, and soon after that, General Lee left. Years later, when General Grant ran for the President of the United States, General Longstreet of the South supported Grant's campaign. Years after the war, a settlement in the park was made outside Appomattox Courthouse in honor of the surrendering of Robert E. Lee. This historical event is extremely important to U.S. history because it healed the nation back together. If this war did not happen, for all we know, there could still be separate countries that border in North America. With this country coming back together, other things that have strange slaves came from this war. People do not know what happened at Appomattox or that the North didn't kill everyone after the war. But this is important because this is what healed the country after dividing. 
These are the actions that happened at Appomattox Courthouse in Virginia in the month of April, 1865.